case, we all know the Norman Wisdom film, filmed in Timmouth, pressed for time, 1966. But did you know that it was exactly on this day, in 1966, it was released? And by on this day to me, that means it's the 8th, I think, isn't it, today? Let's just double check. Yes, the 8th of December, 1966, is when it was released in December. So it's a little compilation of some of the scenes I've already recreated from it. You'll have seen them before if you're a regular viewer, but here they all are in one. Here you go. I say, I, I'm, I'm really most awfully sorry, but that wasn't my bike after all. I'm going to drop you a little clip from the old Norman Wisdom film now where he comes along here goes along the seafront goes right past that shelter what we do is I'll run the film and when we get to that shelter I'll freeze frame and tell you a little bit more about what I'm thinking here you go okay so there's the shelter in all of its glory as I remember it other things of note are the two-way traffic along the upper den carriageway, along with the pier sign, which is painted white on red, as opposed to the modern day when it's red lettering on a white background. Anyway, I'll run the rest of the clip. Take note, the next time that you see a shelter, it is the one that's further along, but then all of a sudden he's back at this one here for its third appearance, and then he goes straight onto Shoulder Bridge. What? Yep, magic of film, eh? <laughs> Closing on him, that's it, closing. Go on. No, go on, you're dropping behind a bit now. There we go, that's roughly where it would have been in the um freeze frame. Shall we watch the clip again without me stopping it? Yeah, why not? Closing on him. That's it. Closing. Go on. No, go on. You're dropping behind a bit now. And there we go. That's the uh, twin shelter. Exactly the same that you saw in that clip as well. All good. Well, those skies look ominous. Let's go and try and get this Norman Wisdom stuff done before it pours down with rain. And despite the ominous sky, it's held out we reach our first location which is basically here now i've got to work out the best way to do this i think i'm going to break the scene down into a few different pieces line up the shots and then we'll play the scene how's that sound let's have a go at that see how it comes out okay so the first shot we start off with norman riding his bike along the sea not long sea front along the road here so uh if we're along here you'll see him come by Here's a clip from the film, or a still from the film I should say, and he comes there. Then you see the children playing oh, the cricket. Children. Would have been playing cricket around about here. Not a million miles change really. Here's the still from the film. There we go. Now we cut to a long shot from over here where they stop him on his bike. You see the wall there that used to be there in the picture? Here he is. Well, that wall, I remember sitting on the carnival and watching that. 
that's all gone now but that's the old royal not the royal flat okay so the next shot is a close-up tight shot but in the background here's the shot anyway and in the background you can see in modern day there's three houses there one's blue one's yellow one's pink that's Brunswick House this was here's a picture of it back in the day nothing to do with the film there we go and finally we get a shot of the uh, proper Royal Hotel as was to finish off so let's run the clip Through this. I did. What do you got near, mister? I like the power. Get around your bike, mister! I sure do! <laughs> now, there we go. The rain has indeed just started. Perfect timing, really. Got what I wanted to do out the way. Hope it's come out all right. Only shot it once, so I've made any mistakes, I made a mistake. To be a bit difficult to line up properly because we've got those um flags and everything from the mini heaven seating but um as you probably know there was a normal wisdom film called pressed for time shot in timber and one of the clips involved him running along past the devon arms hotel and along there and into the jolly sailor pub let's see it There we are, that's where he would have come out from. That should line up that shot fairly well. Timmouth's oldest pub, it says, the Jolly Sailor. And it's here in Northumberland Place.